Mike Tyson, merci de nous recevoir ici à Phoenix dans l'Arizona. Chez vous, nous sommes, euh, nous sommes dans, un, dans un gymnase qui porte un nom magnifique, c'est le Madison Square Garden, et il n'a rien à voir avec celui de New York. Il est très, très sommaire, très pauvre. Pourquoi avez-vous décidé de préparer votre retour ici This is an awesome gym. The atmosphere is awesome. And it has a fighting mentality. The whole aura has fight in it. You know, we have no chance to think of anything else. No distractions here. And that's why I decided to come here. I've heard about this gym from um, various people. Come and they told me it was a good gym, and I agree. How did you find it? People um, associated with my, um, uh, my firm in New York, my fighting firm in, in New York, and they told me about this. And Like I said, I asked other fighters, and this is a pretty awesome gym, and they were correct. Alors, dans quel état de forme êtes-vous aujourd'hui? I feel pretty good. I wish I felt as good as they were said I looked. Oui, vous avez l'air, vous avez l'air très en forme. Votre retour, vous allez tout me confirmer. Votre retour, c'est bien le 16 janvier à Las Vegas. Yes, yes. yes. Et c'est bien contre le Sud-Africain Botta, qui est challenger officiel au titre mondial. Um, yes. Alors, est-ce que d'abord on va parler de boxe Est-ce que vous avez changé votre façon de boxer Est-ce que vous travaillez pour changer votre façon um, de boxer I don't know. I don't know if I changed my my fighting styles. I'm here with um, my my trainer Tommy Brooks, and we're working on basically my my basics. You know, I mean, it's my jab and my movements, but nothing's basically changed. I don't think. There's a few things that I haven't um, I have to have rehashed. In my memory, but um, basically it's the same. Et qu'est-ce que vous travaillez plus aujourd'hui? I'm just um, throwing a lot of punches, my endurance and my coordination. Vous avez un nouvel entraîneur? Yes. Et vous avez changé tout, tout euh, votre environnement? Vous avez gardé encore euh, des gens? Il y a beaucoup de changements? Not much. It didn't change much. Um, I have still have um, crocodile. I have the crocodile with me still. I have um, Stacy McKinley. Là, là. Lui. The crocodile! <laughs> <laughs> Quel est son rôle? When I, tell, when I tell him to bite, he bites. Mais encore. If I ask him to bite you, as a crocodile would, and he would bite your head off. Yeah. He'll bite okay, your head okay, off. Okay, no problem. A, a French egg roll. <laughs> He'll be a French egg roll. <laughs> Alors, votre objectif à, à 32 ans, c'est redevenir champion du monde pour la troisième fois. Seuls deux boxeurs. Ils sont parvenus, c'est Mohamed Ali et Vander Holyfield. Aujourd'hui, votre retour, c'est bien pour redevenir champion du monde. No, um, this is just who I am. You know, what I mean, sometimes um, I make mistakes and I, I fall short of my goal sometimes because I lose my interest. I have an interest span. Sometimes I lose my interest, and I was having a lot of fun. So you have to understand, I've been doing, I've been doing this. Um, a lot of guys fought since they were eight and nine, but I did this um, as a competitor high level since I was 12 years old. And it got boring. I never had a chance to live like a regular kid. You know, I always had the spotlight on me. I just never had a chance to do the thing. So I grew up in a man world as a boy, and I was just too immature. You know? Like now, I'm just truly becoming a man now. And I'm just looking, this is what I do for a living. I hurt people. And I, I'm going to win the championship. That's just a far going I know that's going to happen. Like I know Tuesday, fall and Monday. But it's just that it's all about getting my fundamentals down. Est-ce qu'au fond de vous-même, vous pensez que vous êtes un, un homme, un adulte depuis longtemps ou depuis peu de temps Alors, tout a changé. Il y a quand même beaucoup de changements autour de vous, notamment le, le départ de Don King qui a tenu un rôle important euh, à vos côtés. Aujourd'hui, euh, vous, euh, vous ne travaillez plus avec lui, vous lui réclamez euh, 100 millions de dollars. C'est définitivement terminé avec Don King. Vous pensez qu'il vous a fait plus de mal que de bien Well, Don King was a piece of shit, this is true, and um, he, he did take advantage of me because he only did that because I allowed him to because of my trust, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just the person that I, when I'm with you, I give you my all, and I was under the impression that they were people like me. They always, I, fell, I, I, got, I, got, I fed into the bullshit that we're together and we're brothers and we're going to fight together, and anybody would love to accept that. Everyone wants to be... Um, a part of a family, yes, have a goal and accomplish a goal together. But he didn't have, he had um, different artillery motives than I did. He's a fat piece of shit. Vous pensez qu'il vous a abusé? Oh, I believe he did, yes, ma'am. Qui gère votre carrière aujourd'hui? Okay. Mike Tyson. Okay. Avant, avant de récupérer votre licence, 
Il y a deux grands champions qui ont été à vos côtés, il y en a eu beaucoup, mais on a été particulièrement frappé par la présence de Mohamed Ali et Magic Johnson. Est-ce qu'ils comptent beaucoup euh, plus aujourd'hui qu'hier pour vous I, you know, I was truly um, appreciative that Muhammad Ali and Magic Johnson both came to support me. Um, it gave me a great deal of courage. I felt more and more enhanced, and I believe that uh, God was more on my side. You know, this gave me um, a great deal of confidence, and I, and I felt good seeing them there. But I, I just love everyone. You know, and that's why I'm always in trouble, because I actually love everyone. And I wish I could help everyone, but I know it's just a dream believing that. Comment vivez-vous avec l'image que vous avez dans le monde aujourd'hui, qui est à la fois celle d'un immense champion et puis celle de quelqu'un qui est apparu pour pour les plus durs comme un comme un monstre Est-ce que vous pensez qu'on qu vous a on vous a poussé vers vers pour être un mauvais garçon ou est-ce que c'était malgré vous Listen, um, I believe I um, some of the, I wrote the book to my story most of the time. I, a great deal of the things that happened in my life that were negative, I had a great deal of input in it. But you know, even though other people contribute to it, I got to carry the weight of a fool alone. I'm no monster. When you started, when people read about me, I was just a boy. I was just a little kid. I had no one to protect me. I didn't have no um, publicity firm to protect me. I'm just a poor black, what they call in America, a nigger from the streets. I'm nobody. I'm probably a famous person in France and here. But you know, we have different, we have different racial laws here than we have in France, perhaps. People look at me differently because I'm not from a, a social, um, a highly social background and no social status, you know what I mean? I'm not no educated man, and I'm just a person that was blessed to have skills, and I'm not, um, but still that I'm that way, I'm a blessed person, I'm still a grassroots person, and my grassroots background, we don't back down from anyone, and that's what got me in trouble. I don't play games, I don't kiss anyone's ass, and I'm a real man, and that's why I, That's, regardless of being a fighter, I'm a man, and that's why I want to be a man. And if I die, I want to die, man. I don't want to die, bitch. A little fucking poodle in the street. Like they treat most fighters. And fighters get abused by these guys, and they talk to these guys. And fighters still talk to these guys like nothing happened. Next time somebody abuses me, I'm going to do something very bad to them. What's the most important thing in your life today? It's Allah, it's the family, it's the dollar, it's the box. Allah has blessed me with so much um, enlightenment. And when I say Allah, we as people, your, 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 nation, your religion, what's your religion? Uh, Catholic. You're Catholic? I, I, was, I was born a Catholic. And um, we only have faith in God and Jesus, so to speak, Allah. We have faith. We can't prove. You can't put your life and say, I know Allah did this, or I know Jesus did this but his faith en enhances us from a humanity perspective. And we have faith and believe people are good and people can be good because we believe there's a man out there like maybe Jesus or Prophet Muhammad or Allah. And these guys can make people happy and make the best for people and give us the best insight and give us the best rationality in dealing with, this, with, the with the tragics that happen in the world today. And these are books, it's almost like a novel. Some people read The Art of War, some people read Machiavelli. Some people read, um, read Candace. And we, we read these things and we fall in love with it. I read the Quran. I love the Quran. I live by the Quran. I'm a man. I make mistakes. Do I, do, I, do I pray every day? No. Do I go to the mosque every day? No. Would I die for Allah? Yes. Is Allah in my heart? Yes. Do I love women? Yes. Do I love um, material goods? Yes. But would I, do I love Allah with all my heart? Yes. Et la boxe Yes. Yes. Pour toujours Who knows I can never say forever. Only, only thing that's forever is Allah. Everything else is irrelevant. Alors, j'imagine que vous avez déjà pensé au 16 janvier, au jour où vous allez retrouver le, le ring, et retrouver la compétition. Euh, Est-ce que vous allez changer votre, votre image Est-ce que, par exemple, vous allez encore avoir la culotte noire, les chaussures noires, qui accentuent un peu votre côté, euh, euh, votre côté de, de méchant. I'm not a bad boy. I, no. I, I, I don't believe that. that. Black automatically um, indicate negativity, I believe, because it's so ominous, I believe. That's why when people see black, they say hangman black. 
what I mean? Because everything associated with black is basically mm -hmm. never negative. Devil food cake is black, angel food cake is white. But the reality, this is just who I am. I dress in black because my heroes dressed in black. And that was the way Joe Gans and all those guys, that's what they did, they wore black boots, black shorts, and they fought. And those are the guys that look up, I look up to those guys. That's why I really started fighting. Because I looked in a book one day and I saw some men with their shirts off and they had a bunch of muscles. And I read what they're capable of doing and they did a lot of damage physically to people. And I wanted to be like that. I never wanted to be no superstar. See, people made me a superstar. You guys in the world press made me a superstar or a super villain, whatever you guys consider me. I'm not that, that's not who I am. I'm just a grassroots guy, likes to hang out and like to do a lot of things like the smile of a beautiful woman, like money, like fast cars, just like to have a good time, and just want to have a little bit of fun before I die. But you know what I mean? I don't think, why should, why should white people have all the fun? I want to have fun too. Ça fait deux fois que vous parlez de la mort. Vous avez 32 ans, en général, on parle pas de la mort à 32 ans. No, I'm just, that's not, I'm just talking. That's just conversation. That's the reality of what I'm talking about. It's nothing, there's nothing here, the reality, but death. Anything that happened to us, eventually we can get over it. But death, that's the reality. You know what I mean? It's just, death is probably just um, another part of life we just never experienced yet. Est-ce qu'il y a encore beaucoup de personnes en qui vous avez confiance aujourd'hui? No, who, um, depends to what degree. My wife is the only person I truly trust, and some of my staff members that work with me. But my wife is true, you know what I mean? Regardless of my situation, if I'm not always the nicest guy in the world to her or something, I could put my life on trust her because she put her life on the line to have my children. Est-ce que vous avez toujours été à la, à la recherche d'un père que vous n'avez pas beaucoup eu et vous avez eu Cus Damato au début de votre carrière? Est-ce que c'est quelque chose qui vous a manqué? Well, you know, who wants to be my father, huh? They should be my father when I'm, when I'm um, depleted of cash. Look at me now. I gross, what, 200 million a year, 150 million a year. Well, you want to be my father? I can get a lot of fathers. I can pay for a lot of fathers. I want our law. That's what I want. I want love and our law. I don't want no father figure. I'm a father. I don't need no father figure. I'm nobody's boy anymore. I'm a man. I'm a father. My father's dead. He can never replace. Vous êtes passé très vite de la pauvreté à une très grande richesse. Est-ce que vous avez eu le temps de, de savoir ce que c'était que l'argent quand ça a été aussi vite? Well, you know, money doesn't mean anything to me. You know, money is just um, to help people you love and people you care about. You know, money doesn't mean anything really. It's not, a, you know, I like to have it because it makes me, you know, it's fun. It makes people happy and we have fun with it. But you know, it's not something that I, I put, I put a force of security and I don't. It's not it's something. It's nothing I love. I don't love money. It's fun. I just love life and people. <laughs> Alors, on, on dit, on dit que vous avez eu beaucoup d'argent ensuite, que vous avez plus d'argent, que vous que vous reboxez pour gagner de l'argent. Vous avez un, un beaucoup, vous êtes assuré pour la fin de vos jours, quoi qu'il arrive. I mean, I don't know. Who cares about money? I don't give a damn about money. I just want to have fun, live my life, make sure my kids are good people. I don't give a damn about no money. Alors, est-il exact parce que les Vous êtes une star planétaire et on écrit évidemment beaucoup de choses sur vous. J'imagine qu'il y a beaucoup de choses vraies, beaucoup de choses fausses, comme toujours. Est-ce que vous êtes exact que vous avez 110 voitures This is not true, no. Non. Vous no. savez combien vous en avez Just a few. Ouais. Deux, alors, on, deux tigres blancs, un lion, c'est vrai Maybe, could be. Ouais. Et aujourd'hui, vous habitez ici, à Phoenix yeah, I would like to live in France, because I don't think they like me over here in America too well. <laughs> it hasn't been good for me over here so good. Yeah. Justement, alors, vous sortez peu des États-Unis. Vous êtes allé deux fois au Japon, euh, deux fois en France. Est-ce que vous avez pensé à un moment à vous expatrier? If I wasn't on parole, as soon as I get off parole, I'm going to leave this yeah. country and never come back. <laughs> so, yeah, as soon as I get off this parole. Aujourd'hui, vous ne le pouvez pas. No. No. Vous serez complètement libre quand? Only God knows. I think they like the power of keeping me in the bondage, keeping the big, strong black man in the bondage. Because your guys make your guys, the, the media um, make me appear to be I'm somebody special, and that makes them special when they have a key over my life. When they have, when they have my life in their hand, that makes them feel big. I'm nobody, but media makes me big. It makes me an important person. You call me a superstar, a famous person? Yeah, famous person, my ass, okay? I've, I've been on, my mother died broke. We've been on welfare all our life. I'm a big shot. Yeah, right, give me a break, okay? <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't buy it. Ça a des avantages d'être une superstar. What? What, what, 
what advantage does it have? I don't have to wait in line for a club. I don't have to wait in line for a restaurant. I don't have to worry about going out with anybody I want. That's all bullshit. That's all bullshit. I've done all that. I've, it hasn't changed the way I feel about life. If I'm happy, it hasn't made me happy. At the beginning, maybe. I like real people. People that are struggling and want to do well in their life and want to work. I've met, the, the, the more famous I become, the more um, ingrates and the more bums I've met. You know what I mean? I must be in the wrong circles. This being famous is not all it's cooked up to be. <laughs> il, y a, il y a en France un, un champion du monde des lourds légers WBA qui s'appelle Fabrice Tiozo, qui va passer euh, en lourd l'année prochaine. Et son, rêve, son souhait, c'est de, 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 de boxer contre vous. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire well, He wants to die or he wants to fight me. Which one what does he want to do <laughs> Qu'est-ce que vous allez faire dans, dans les jours qui viennent Qu'est-ce que vous allez faire d'ici le, le mois de janvier Quel est votre programme pour le, votre retour I just train every day, train hard every day. And I just praise, praise be to Allah that everything is successful. But I, just, I feel great. Pour l'instant, vous faites du footing, de l'entraînement à la salle ici. Et vous, vous allez remettre les... Vous allez avoir un sparring partner bientôt Yeah, probably Sunday we start boxing. I've boxed already, though. The Sunday will start by. Et tout va bien. I believe so, yeah. <laughs> Est-ce que vous pouvez nous, nous expliquer le, on, est, on, voit, on voit sur l'écran depuis le début tous les tatouages que, que vous avez. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous les faire visiter? Arthur Ashe, great man, great humanitarian, tennis player, great player too. But that's the understatement calling him a tennis player. Great man, Arthur Ashe. Um, my wife. Beautiful woman, isn't she? Yes. Okay, my tiger, her name is Kenya. She's beautiful tiger. as well. This is Chairman Mao, also a fabulous man that helped millions of people get their independence, their self-esteem, and their manhood back. And number one, Che Guevara. Ah. Okay, you know plus? See, si. I'll get more though. <laughs> I'll get more. Okay. I want Lenny and Paul Robeson. <laughs> Alors, en, en France, les, les mœurs américaines nous font parfois sourire. C'est vrai que l'affaire la, Lewinsky euh, a fait plutôt sourire les Français. n'ont pas compris que ça prenne une telle ampleur aux États-Unis. Est-ce euh, que vous avez imaginé un seul instant, compte tenu de tout ce qui vous est arrivé, si à la place de Bill Clinton avec Monica Lewinsky, ça avait été vous, que se serait-il passé um, Listen, let me tell you about people. People. Um... People are opportunists. They look for a chance for you to fall, but they stay close to you as they're your friend while you're in power. But as soon as the opportunity comes, and they may help the opportunity by putting somebody, by planting somebody in your situation, and as soon as the time comes where you're down and out, that's when everybody stick their forks in your neck and in your back. But then one day, if you're strong and you overcome your adversity, then it's going to be their turn. But let's see how well they handle it. I don't think that the people that can handle it well as I handle it. They're not as tough as they think they are. Everyone thinks they're a tough guy, they're a big shot, but they're not, deep down inside. If you strip them down for what they truly are, they're cowards, because they manipulate and they misuse people. And only cowards do that because they're insecure themselves and their own manhood. I talk to the smallest, wimpiest guy in the world the same way I talk to the biggest, baddest motherfucker. I say something behind their back, just like I say it in front of their face. Vous avez eu l'occasion de compter vos amis. No, no one knows who their friends are. The only reason they're the only reason they become your enemy because at one time they were your friend. Somebody out the blue can't be your enemy. Guy is walking down the street, you can't walk down the street. I hate Mike Tyson. Ah, I want to kill. Or oh, somebody that gets to know you, they get familiar with you, and familiarity, as you know, breeds contempt. Then they want to be you, and they can't understand. They may be a college man or maybe gorgeous looking. They can't understand why a guy that's not so attractive and not an educated man rise to the occasion of which he is, meaning myself. Quel est le plus grave? Est-ce que c'est d'avoir mordu l'oreille de Lipfield, ou est-ce que c'est d'avoir été accusé de viol, ce, ce que vous avez toujours été? Listen, um, I didn't rape anyone, and at that time of my life, when I was accused of rape, I could have had any two billion girls, three billion girls that was on this planet at that time. I mean, it's just that I made a bad choice and fornicating with an animal. <laughs> and I got fleas. Three years worth of fleas. And I'm still itching from it. And Holyfield, 
he lucky I didn't bite his throat off. He knew he was wrong. He shouldn't have did what he did. He violated me and in return I violated him. But just because I'm that type of person, I'm that extreme of a person, they fingered me to be a monster. I am who I am, and I'm gonna die being who I am, and I'm gonna live being who I am. This is just who I am. And if you can't handle me being who I am, you have a problem within yourself. I never violated or hurt anybody that didn't have it coming to them. Merci beaucoup de nous avoir reçus ici. Je sais que vous donnez très peu d'interviews, même à la télévision, quasiment pas du tout. Donc rendez-vous le 16 janvier à Las Vegas. Ce sera en direct sur Canal Plus en France, où vous avez beaucoup de fans aussi. Est-ce que le ring est l'endroit où vous vous sentez encore aujourd'hui le mieux I feel the best in the world with my children. I'm madly in love with my children. I think if I felt this way about my children, about my daughter, and I wasn't involved with her, and it wasn't my daughter, I would marry my daughter if she was my age and I felt this way about a woman. I've never felt this way about anyone in my life. The emotion, of course. Quel age ont -il? They're nine, they're eight, there's two and a half, and there's 14 months. Et quels sont leurs prénoms? Um, Gina's the oldest, Mikey's the next to the oldest, Raina's the three-year-old, and um, two and a half, really, and Amir is the 14-month. He's a little boy. I have a little boy. Il y a souvent dans la boxe des dynasties. Est-ce que vous souhaitez qu'il y ait un Mike, parce qu'il y a déjà un Mike Tyson 2 en, en boxe, après vous? As what? A box? No. That's why I take the punches and get beat up and knocked out, for he doesn't have to. I don't want him to ever do that. It's humiliating sometimes. But the man to be a fighter has to be hungry and to have nothing. He'll never know what it's like to be without. He has a different situation. A man who's not hungry and has plenty will die in there because the people that are in there have nothing. And their job is to die in there because they have nothing. So it doesn't matter what happens to them. They have nothing to lose. How could a man that has so much to lose win against a man that has nothing to lose? That's like your guy's going against a free labor. You can't be free labor. Mais vous, vous avez encore faim? I don't know. But I know I'm capable of going inside Francois Bauder's anus and tearing his soul apart. Le 16 janvier, que redoutez-vous le plus? Les coups de votre adversaire ou le regard extérieur qui va, il va y avoir des, des, des millions de... Listen, I've never feared any man in my life since I was a boy. There's never been a man but Allah that can put fear in my heart. There's no one ever put fear in my heart. No man. All right, I watched him fight the Nazi before. And if he fights me like he fights the Nazi, he's going home in a body bag. Merci beaucoup. Oui, monsieur. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mike.